What's up, people? Welcome back. Total OS Today, total technology for beginners and beyond. First of all, thank you so very, very much for some of your suggestions in trying to fix my Windows 7 updating Service Pack 1 issue. You might recall that I need to install the Service Pack 1 in order to qualify for the free Windows 10 upgrade coming up here in about a month or so. Thank you for all of your suggestions. It is greatly appreciated. You guys are awesome. However, at this time, I've pretty much I've given up on it. And the reason why is uh, I reinstall the original genuine Windows 7 operating system from the hidden partition um, on my desktop. Now, normally, that solves 99% of the issues from my experience. Well, I guess I got stuck in the 1% of the population that it didn't solve my problem. I'm done with it. I feel that at this time, Microsoft owes me a new Windows 10 computer. Yeah, sure, no problem. Anyway, this is by request from um, Bill, I believe. Hello, Bill. I was asked to take a look at something called Clear Linux. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about this, but I did take a look at their website, clearlinux.org. Now, I will not be installing this, and I will explain why. I did take a look at it. Now my channel usually focuses mainly on beginners, you know, getting exposed to the world of Linux. And I don't believe this is designed for beginners. I could be wrong, but from what I saw, I don't think this is it. Now, does not mean this is not any good. That does not mean that at all. But let me just read something here and I'll tell you why I came to that conclusion. First of all, the Clear Linux project for Int Intel architecture. The Clear Linux project for Intel architecture is a project that is building a Linux OS distribution for various cloud use cases. The cloud seems to be a wave of the future of cloud uses anyway. The goal of Clear Linux OS is to showcase the best of Intel architecture technology from low-level kernel features to more complex items that span across the entire operating system stack. Uh, if you are a beginner to this and don't understand it, that's okay. It's not that critical. But let me go uh, through this here at the bottom, uh, at the bottom here, real quick about the project. Now, this is where I, I decided not to try and install this. Okay, Clear Linux OS is focused on the cloud. Our aim was not to make yet another general-purpose Linux distribution. Sometimes lean and faster is better than big and universal. Certainly makes sense. So while we include many software components from the OpenStack Foundation, we chose, for example, not to include a GUI or a GUI or printing support. Um, if you don't know what that means, the GUI is, is, is short for Graphical User Interface, which is absolutely critical, especially for someone who is new to any type of operating system uh, desktop environment. After reading this, I decided not to give this a try to install it. Now, once again, this does not mean that you couldn't figure this out. It does not mean that this is not any good. Uh, this was by request. I was asked to take a look at it. It's a very brief look, admittedly. But if you wanted to try this out, you may want to click Get Started here. And it gives you some information here. Um, you can install Clear Linux OS as a host on a target computer. You can run it uh, in a virtualized environment. I, I virtualized environment. I do a lot of testing in a virtual machine simply because it's just convenient. And there are some scripts here and stuff. This is probably going to scare away uh, new users. That's why I did not try to install this. Um, anyway, that's my very very brief look at Clear Linux. I apologize if this is not what you're looking for, but. I try to honor as many requests as possible. Uh, this is cloud-based, and I believe that uh, cloud-based at least is part of the future of operating systems. So if you are uh, maybe intermediate to advanced, you may want to take a look at this, something called Clear Linux Project for Intel Architecture. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Don't forget to vote for the June YouTuber. There's a couple days left to vote. I will have the link for that below in the show notes. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and share the Total OS Today channel. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.